All right, so what I wanted to do today is my top 10 mask discoveries of this year. It was originally going to be just like the best masks released this year. Oliver's here for this one. Um, but then I discovered other masks that had been released for a while that I hadn't tried yet and I really, really love. So I thought I would just do my top 10 um, best mask discoveries of this year. So it's some new, some that have been around for quite a while that are new to me. Um, and yeah, that's that's what I've got for today. And since I figured it's a, it's a mask video, so I should do a mask and chat. So that's what we're gonna do. I did take a shower. Um, I'm hoping to film one more video after this, but the the weather is looking really dreary, so we'll have to see how it goes. Um, but I'm going to do one that I've never talked about on my channel. I've posted about it a little bit in my Instagram stories, um, but I've never talked about it, and it's one that I want to highlight. So this is the it's this is old packaging actually. This is the Wild Beauty, but it's now Lena. Lena Wild, I think. Um, I'll link it down below, but it's the Harmony Rescue Mask. And the Lena Wild um, line only consists of two products right now, and they're both designed for um, people who've got my kind of skin type. So it's acneic, oily, mm. imbalanced combination. Mm. Um, so yeah, all mm. my skin type. <laughs> Oliver. But this is the one that I wanted to do with you guys today. So I thought I would show you it real quick. I'll put it on sort of like speed style and then um, we'll talk about this one plus all the other masks. So I love the jar on this one. It's so pretty and different. Almost reminds you of like old apothecary or something like that, but it's so, it's such a great mask. It's a gentle detox mask. So I'm gonna put this on and then we will talk about this and all the other masks. specifically is designed to deeply cleanse, detox, and brighten skin. Um, it helps reduce inflammation and aids in promoting the skin's ability to heal and renew itself. This one specifically is made with green clay, uh, rice powder, white clay, matcha, white willow bark powder, camu camu, green algae, white willow bark extract, yarrow oil, lavender oil. So I really love this mask. It is, it's a very gentle detox mask. Um, I let it dry all the way down. I know some people suggest not letting masks dry all the way down. Sometimes I'll even add an oil or honey or something in it to like make it not totally dry, but I don't, I don't really find an issue with, for me, letting masks dry all the way down. Um, I tend to like to let them dry all the way down. And when this one dries all the way down, it's not, super tight or it makes your face throb or anything like that. So I really love that. If you're looking for um, a gentler detox mask, um, that is one that I would definitely recommend. I love that one. I've been using it for a couple of months now. And um, I, again, I just, I really love the packaging. I really love the brand. She focuses a lot on the sustainability of every aspect of her business. Um, the box itself is 100% cotton, so no trees. Even her packaging is all um, sustainable and eco-friendly. So I love that about her brand as well. So these ones are about a year old, actually. I think um, she she opened her shop about a year ago. Um, it was like the middle of December of 2017. So almost newly released this year, but also not. So, so the next one that I discovered this year that I really, really love is the Kahina Giving Beauty Antioxidant Mask. I love this mask so much. And then I'll show you the inside of it. So this one is designed again to detoxify um, at the deepest level, replacing the impurities in your skin with nourishing trace minerals, stimulates collagen production and improves skin strength and elasticity, deliver potent antioxidants to fight free radical damage and reduce signs of aging, and then gently exfoliate while leaving skin toned smoother and more supple. The first time I tried this, I actually used this first, and then I used another mask in here that's on my list of 10 best mask discoveries. It's the Wamisa Organic Seeds Hydrogel. 
So I put this on, left it on 20 plus minutes, I can't remember exactly. And then I put this on right after and my skin literally, literally looked the best it's like ever looked after a mask ever. <laughs> just like the combination of these two, my skin just totally adored it. It, you know, detoxified and plumped it full of antioxidants. And this is even is a little bit hydrating for me. But then this on top really, really like plumped it up full of hyaluronic acid and other hydrating ingredients. And my skin just looked so so good um i will do these two together when i can but i oftentimes will just do the antioxidant mask on its own maybe do the moisture mask um from kahina giving beauty right afterwards which was a discovery from last year so i didn't include it in this in this video but i also love the kahina giving beauty um, moisturizing mask that's also really really fantastic so this has got um, pomegranate acai uh, peppermint eucalyptus sunflower and geranium um, you know, plus aloe, argan. But I really, really love this mask. If you're looking for a good antioxidant mask, I would definitely give this one a try. It's, it's really great. I just absolutely love it. Love the results it gives my skin. And this one too, if you're looking for a great sheet mask to try, this is like one of the only sheet masks I recommend, um, because it's just, it's so, so good. Um, but yeah, it's also plumping and uh, lifting, anti-wrinkle, and soothing is what it says down here, but it's super hydrating, super plumping. This is my favorite of the, the Wamisa sheet masks. I've also tried their flowers one, I want to say. It's not as good as that one, and I still have one more that I need to try. I think it's the fruit. I can't remember, but that one is, it's phenomenal. You can see this mask. <laughs> it's like halfway dry. Um, so the next one is the 12 Beauty London Mask. This one I discovered via mm. Boxwalla. There's the inside of that one. I think I've used about half of it so far. So this one is touted as a anti-pollution purifying mask and it's made for stress sensitive and reactive skin. It's got a masterful blend of kaolin, olive derived squalane, rice comfrey, mallow cucumber, and vitamin B5. Um, and it's, like I said, it's great for sensitive skin. It's designed to be sort of like anti-pollution purifying. I pull this one out when you know, I'm looking for sort of just like a really, really beautiful mask experience. It's super hydrating again. Um, it is really great for sensitive. It doesn't irritate at all. It's got, it's totally smooth. There's no grit. There's a tiny amount of grit in the antioxidant mask. Um, but if you're looking for something that has zero texture, it's just smooth, um, putting it on, taking it off, then the 12 Beauty Mask is one that you would definitely want to check out because it's it's got a beautiful texture, it's beautifully smooth, it smells beautiful. And if I do feel like my skin is especially stressed out or super sensitive, this is another one that I'll use too because I know that it's not going to make my skin react. I know that my skin is going to respond really well to it. So that is the fourth mask. This is like next to impossible to do with Oliver because he is just like all over the places. You can see I had to take a break. <laughs> I had to switch out my battery too. So um, let's try to continue. Ah. The next mask discovery that I really, really enjoyed this year is the Marin B um, Detox Mask. It's calming skin repair with clay, pumpkin, and oatmeal. So this one is a little bit, or this one is in a tube. So, and this one is, um, Obviously, it's not vegan. It's got honey and stuff in it. It's designed to draw out impurities, exfoliate dead skin, soothe and calm the skin. I really like this one, too, because it, it has almost like a warming effect on my skin. I don't know if that's like the pumpkin and the honey, maybe, or there's also some sulfur in here, kale and clay, aloe, oat, um, lavender. I don't know, it has like a little bit of a warming effect on my skin. And I really, really enjoy the way that this makes my skin look and feel um, after I've taken it off. It's just, it's a really nice um, detox mask. I, I Detox masks and hydration masks are like my two favorite things this year. As you will see that these are <laughs> the things that have like ended up in here. A little bit of antioxidant mask too, but I really like this one. It's one of the only products from Marin B that I would recommend. The only other product from them that I would recommend is their lip repair. Um, I talked about their body products in an empties video, and I just think they're far too expensive for one, how quickly you go through them, and two, sort of how um, basic they are, I guess. I don't know, but the mask and the lip repair are my two favorite products from Marin B, and I think that they're total standouts. 
Um, so the next mask favorite discovery is the Moana mask by Hanua. I believe I did a mask and chat. It's not going to focus on this one for some reason, but I believe I did a mask and chat on this one. There it goes. Um, earlier this year, and this was in a Beauty Heroes box. Um, I absolutely love this one as well. I love both of the Hanua masks. I've been through a full jar of the Aina mask, which is her um, other mask. This one is for the ocean lovers. The other one is for land lovers. They're both honey mat, honey based masks, but this one again, I feel like is a very light detoxifying mask. It just, it feels really good on my skin. Um, it's got honey, green clay, bentonite clay, spirulina, plantain leaf, comfrey, licorice, turmeric, aloe, witch hazel, willow bark, sandalwood, neroli, tamanu, um, some other really great things in here. And I love that the Hanua masks are also super, super affordable. They're only $38 each and you get a really good experience and effect from those masks. So that's my next mask discovery favorite of the year. These last four are probably my absolute favorites, but I don't know. It's hard to categorize any of them because I think they all are really great in different ways. So another one of my absolute favorite mask discoveries, the, uh, <laughs> writing on it is a little worse for wear. It's Namari Staub. This is her multi exfoliant and mask, so you can use it um, either way. You can use it as a physical exfoliant, which I do sometimes, or you can use it as a mask left on and mixed with water or whatever you want to mix it with. Sometimes I'll use it just mixed with water. Sometimes I'll use it mixed with Kokan, which is her other mask. But it exfoliates in multiple ways with vitamin C and freshly milled hibiscus combined with papaya enzymes, as well as non-abrasive particles um, that work to synergistically to provide just the right level of resurfacing that doesn't strip or damage skin. Um, at the same time, genuine silver prevents inflammation and soothes your freshly polished complexion. The way of application can be adjusted to your very current needs, which makes it one of the most versatile products in her line and must have to deeply cleanse, transform, and detoxify the skin. So I did a whole Namari line review where I went into detail about the ingredients and everything in this mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that down below. Um, but I just, I leave this one in my shower actually because I like to use it as a physical exfoliant in the morning sometimes. I switch off between this one and a granola goat one. Um, but it depends on if I feel like I need some brightening um, and some exfoliation, like chemical exfoliation, I'll do this one. But I also like to leave it on in the shower, like as a mask. So it's sort of, I use it as both as like an exfoliant and mask in one. Absolutely love this. It's just, it's totally beautiful. It works really great for my skin, non-irritating, brightening, um, exfoliating, detoxifying. I just absolutely love that one so much. Another one that I really, really love, I'm just going to get through it and I'm not going to wash this off. <laughs> um, that was released this year is the Malaya Advanced Repair Mask. It's her Neem Honey um, Herbal Complex Mask. And this mask is, let me tell you, something else. I did a mask and chat on this one. Um, and so many of you guys commented on how great my skin looked after I took the mask off. I'm gonna link that video down below in case you wanna watch it. It's a pretty long one, um, but really just sort of like watch a few minutes in the beginning to see my skin and then scroll down to the end um, if you wanna see like how my skin looks after I take it off. But this really is like one of the most repairing masks that I've ever tried. It like, it makes my skin look so much better after one use. It also softens, calms, and clarifies skin. It's got a blend of highly antibacterial and rare wild neem flower honey, detoxifying clays, and a proprietary complex of nine reparative herbs that work to gently draw out impurities and exfoliate. Blue tansy and black currant extract target troubled areas to help restore balance. Um, this therapeutic mask helps restore uh, soothe stress skin and reveal an even healthy glow your skin will feel noticeably smooth hydrated and youthful which i absolutely think is true it's seriously one of the best masks i've ever tried and it's probably like in my top five um masks ever it's it really is repairing when you use it at night and then you put on some like deeply nourishing facial oils or a facial moisturizer or something and you wake up in the morning and your skin it literally has repaired overnight. It's it's truly like a magical mask. That is one that I would recommend um, anybody with any kind of skin, skin like mine. If you have skin like mine, with acne, you need repairing, definitely check out that mask because it's, it's phenomenal. Another one that I absolutely love that's great for detoxing and hydrating at the same time is the Natural Logic Unmask. This is truly a unique mask in its texture and its performance. 
I've used up an entire jar of this already, but as you can see, it's sort of like a thick um, jelly-like. It's very jiggly. It smells like licorice. But this one is made with aloe, geranium, um, AHA, which is a sugar, cane sugar extract, which is an exfoliant, um, which is also made with orange peel, lemon peel, maple sugar, maple sugar, bilberry, and cranberry. Um, it's got activated charcoal, niacinamide, castor bean, hemp seed, xanthan gum, MSM, um, chamomile, willow bark, radish root, ferment, zeolites, uh, calendula, rosemary, bergamot, orange peel, clove, lemongrass, jasmine. It must be like the mix of clove and the other stuff in here that sort of makes it smell like licorice because there's nothing licorice in here. But this mask is fantastic. I also believe I've done a mask and chat on that. I can't quite remember. If I have, I'll link it down below. But that's absolutely one of the best masks I've tried this year. Like I said, I've already used up an entire jar of it. Um, it's, it's just absolutely one of the best masks I've ever used. It makes my skin it heal it, it's sort of like the malaya one where it like heals my skin like almost instantly but also it super hydrates it at the same time it just makes my skin look fantastic so the last the the tenth mask that i've gotten here that is the best one of the best mask discoveries of this year i bet you all know what it is because i've been raving about it all year long um it's the Daphna's revival i love this mask so much as you can see, I'm really into like hydrating, detoxifying masks. This one is the Bioactive Beauty Mask, and it's a unique combination of bioactive ingredients of capsulated charcoal, hyaluronic acid, ginseng, and reishi, formulated to transform your skin, bringing back its vitality. The skin becomes remarkably soft, radiant, hydrated, and recovered from daily stressful agents such as free radicals. The result is a balanced complexion and an even look, which is absolutely true. My skin looks absolutely fantastic and feels fantastic when I use this mask. Um, like I said in a recent empties video, whenever my skin is feeling like even a little bit parched or a lot of it parched, I use that mask because it, it's, it instantly hydrates and plumps and makes my skin calm and smooth and just totally awesome. That mask is, it's something else. It's expensive, but it is worth every darn penny, let me tell you. Um, so those are my top 10 mask discoveries of this year. I absolutely love these masks. Um, I might do a continued mask favorites because I don't want to like not show love to the masks that I've discovered before this year, but I absolutely love as well. Like, you know, Mahalo's the Bean, Leilani, Melee Glow, um, some others I wrote down. So I might be doing a second continued favorite mask videos, um, or I might just throw them into like my yearly favorites. Now my face is starting to get a little, it's starting to feel a little, a little dry and um, irritated. I need to wash this off. Um, but yes, that's everything that I've got for this video. Let me know what your thoughts were on any of these masks, if any of them are your favorites or any that you have been thinking about trying. Maybe you want to pick something new up. Um, just let me know. But I love these masks. You, can, you cannot go wrong with any of these masks. And these were absolutely the best mask discoveries of this year. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in one of my many favorites videos coming up next. <laughs> Bye.